you might have to do it. I mean, if you've shot a couple of competitions, I think George Ortiz does it once in a while. He makes you guys run around and, and you're out of breath, okay? At some point in time, you're gonna have to hold your breath to shoot. But you don't wanna do it for very long. Within nine to 15 seconds, the first, when you get hypoxic, the first thing that goes is your vision, right? And that's what we need the most. So you can trap your breath. Well, and that's what I'm getting at. The biggest thing is remember to breathe. If you're not actively engaging a target, continue to breathe, okay? Because I see it a lot actually in competitions, guys that are a little bit new, they get into a position and or they're moving from one position to the next position to the next position and then they come off of a stage and they're like ah, right i'm like dude you just held your breath for 90 seconds right i mean they did and i know you do it in three gun too because you're like ah, you know you're dumping a gun you're pulling up your shotgun and if you're not breathing and can oxygenate your brain all of a sudden that's why we go buzzer dumb right yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not all of a sudden i had this awesome plan and i just forgot it it's just 30 seconds into running around you've been holding your breath for 30 seconds and now your brain isn't working does that make sense yeah okay so breath control natural respiratory pause when we get into this stuff i want you guys to make good shots go ahead and exhale relax shoot okay when we start getting into positions that's when we start manipulating our our diaphragm a little bit and we create you know, a decent shot for ourselves.